Hey everyone, today on Rich With Cars, I bring you Genesis GV80. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about an owner's perspective of the GV80, because this is my own GV80 over here, and do sort of like an overview of the vehicle from the exterior and then the interior and some of the features. So, stay tuned, we're gonna move into this. GV80 was actually the first vehicle that Genesis came out with, which is Hyundai's luxury brand. That is their first ever SUV. Genesis actually came out with this vehicle after releasing three other sedans, the G90, the G80, and the, G's, and the G70. This, I, in my opinion, was coming out with a bang just because of the overall design and definitely has a lot of presence uh, if you can notice over here this is a massive grille which attracts a lot of attention i used to drive a lexus rx 350 and definitely didn't attract any attention also because of the fact that the lexus rx 350 is extremely common this gv80 on the other hand though i keep on getting compliments all the time especially with this package which is the prestige package which carries the, the uh, 22 inch wheels as you guys can see over here i really like these wheels it's sort of uh classic design five spoke with some intricacies and details all along the actual wheels as you can see very 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 cool a really cool design aspect of the genesis gv80 which carries on with the rest of the lineup is the double bar headlights and uh, all the other types of lights around the vehicle which are the turn signals and the rear tail lights that's really really cool because it kind of carries around the entire vehicle i'm going to show you guys moving around how neat the design language is and you can see here how it goes on from the rear to the side and to the front. Typically you'll see some vehicles with side view markers on the side view mirror, but this one doesn't have it. They actually ended up putting the side view markers here to actually carry on the design. I was extremely fortunate to actually find this vehicle in this color combination because I'm not sure how it is right now, but about six months ago when I first got this vehicle, or a little bit longer at the beginning of 2021 the gold coast silver which is the name of this color on the exterior was not very common and then to actually you know combine it with the interior which is the the black even more rare we'll go into the interior a bit later on but i want to discuss a little bit of the exterior color soft closed doors but yeah, I really like this color because it accentuates the lines of the vehicle and also gives a more luxurious feel to the to the entire design and the actual vehicle itself. So this color is actually called Gold Coast Silver and I know that for 2021 they discontinued it. Why? I don't know. Please comment below to let me know why. Maybe they'll come back out with it in 2022 model year. Moving on to the interior, doing a quick overview of the interior. Yes, the fronts have tints. So the interior, I chose to actually go with a black interior because you got to see a lot of the um, stitching on the, on the seats, especially with the contrast with the black seats with the white stitching and the actual piping on the seats. I find it to be extremely nice. And the actual design of the interior is really, really nice. Let's go for a quick overview of the interior over here. I'm gonna start the vehicle. So, over here, let's go from left to right. You have open pour wood on the doors. You have the Lexicon sound system, which you can see over here. You have your dials and your seat memory seat buttons. 
and you have your actual buttons for your windows. The other cool feature here that I like a lot on the windows, on the rear windows over here, if I press it, I'm gonna go back so you guys can see, you have automatic sunshades. I'm gonna switch it down now, look. So that feature actually comes with a prestige package. Really, really cool feature. A lot of stuff uh, that come with a prestige package that I ended up getting with this vehicle. The 3D instrument cluster, you can't really see it right now. If you guys can see over here, you got something going on over here that basically reads the eyes. And the way that the 3D instrument cluster works is it reads your eyes and it basically adjusts the cluster in such a way where it'll basically make the 3D image go based on how you're looking at the cluster and which position you're in. Moving on to the middle, you have a, I believe it's a 14 inch multimedia infotainment screen, which is also touch, as you can see over here. Once you actually expand it to the full map, it kind of gives you a, a perspective of how huge the screen is. Really, really nice. Some leather soft touch on the, on the actual uh, dash over here, really nice with some white contrast stitching. You have the separate AC, HVAC uh, controls over here and other controls as well, which include shortcut buttons to the map, navigation, controls. That's a star, which is basically a favorite that you can assign. Hazard, your radio, multimedia, and then setup. If you touch setup, it brings you to the main screen where you can actually adjust a lot of the actual features of the vehicle. And this vehicle is actually fully loaded. So, I mean, there's so many different things that you can actually adjust and so many features that you have. Another cool feature that it has is basically a sort of like, a, a, I think it's over here, the active sound design, if I'm, if I'm not wrong, which is basically kind of like uh, noise canceling earphones. As you're driving, it uses a type of uh, a frequency in the actual speakers to remove any exterior sound as you're driving. Frankly speaking, as an owner, I don't know if I actually noticed it, but you know, it's something that they actually have and they've actually prom uh, promoted in a, a lot of their a lot of their media when they're actually uh, trying to show this vehicle off. I'm not sure if it shows over here, but you also have a heads up display and that's very nice because it shows a lot of the features over uh, as you're driving including navigation speed radio volume things like that you have all your HVAC controls it's sort of like a mishmash because you have both a digital screen and also some physical knobs over here that's your auto that's your off. I'm gonna put it back in auto because it's very cold, uh, very hot, sorry. And that's basically it. Moving on to the middle, you have your control. It's sort of a dial control for your infotainment screen. And that's your gear lever. It's an electronic shifter. That just put it to drive, neutral, reverse. And in order to actually switch these gears, you actually, so if I wanna go back to drive, the only way it'll move without a click is only to neutral. When you go to drive or to reverse, you have to do an extra click. And then if you wanted to put it, park, put it to park, middle button right there. You got your auto hold, which is basically a brake hold as you're driving, so you don't have to keep your foot on the brake. Some storage, cup holders over there. Another neat feature is an additional storage with some charge points, uh, USB charge points. This over here is a charge pad, a wireless charge pad for your phone. And I like it a lot because a lot of different vehicles have their wireless charge pads in areas where maybe some larger phones can actually fit. My phone fits there perfectly. I have a Galaxy 
Note 20 Ultra, which is a very, very large phone. So no issues over there. Then you'll have your drive modes over here with some additional features as well, which include a differential lock, hill. Uh, this is a sort of like a hill assist. Um, as you're going down, it basically assists you in, in going down in sort of, uh, um, I guess, bad weather. You have your uh, park assist control over here, and then you have your camera button. Camera button, if I press it, you have all kinds of different views. That's top rear. You have your different corners for the rear. You have, so if I put it to drive, for example, now I can actually put front. I can put top front and the corners on each other front. You also have like some of the Germans, you have your 3D and you can move it around as you can see. Very, very, very cool. I don't know if I use that feature a lot. I mean, I personally don't really use it. I just use some of the other camera angles myself. And then moving on, you have your HVAC vents over here. Uh, another cool uh, feature or design aspect that I really like about uh, the interior of the GV80 is how they sort of integrated everything into a sort of unified look. Here you don't actually have vents, but they made it seem as, they, as, as if you do. And here, instead of actually having your dials to actually close a vent or open it, you just move it to the side until it clicks. Move it to the side, sorry until it clicks. And that's how you open and close them. Same thing over here. So it moves on over to till there. You have your Lexicon sound system, which is part of the prestige package. Very, very good sound system. Uh, and then moving on here to the doors, same thing as the other side with the open pour wood, your speaker grills from the Lexicon system, some leather on the uh, leg area and some buttons also for the window lock and unlock moving on to the rear of the of the gv80 the seat over here in the front is actually positioned to my driving position and there's plenty of space plenty one thing i definitely love is the fact that they actually kept the same design same sort of quality on the seats with the quilted seats the piping on the leather and then same type of open pour wood, speaker grills with the uh, brushed aluminum, and then you can see a bit of leather over there. Something that not many vehicles have is the adjustability feature to actually move the seats back and then move forward and front. And then you can also, believe it or not, you can actually raise it. Really gives you a very luxurious feel. Something else on the on the um, prestige package are these vanity mirrors on the second row. Yeah, you can see nobody's really sat here. I haven't taken off the actual plastic from the mirror itself, but yeah, you have those. And then you have this button over here to bring the seat forward to have access to the rear or actually flatten down your seats to put something larger. So same thing to put it back up. Little bit slow, but it's still automatic. Have basically three zone climate control. And you can see here, you can actually adjust the fan speed, the temperature, because the rear is not broken up into two different sections, it's actually just one. But uh, what I really like is the fact that you can actually switch uh, the different directions. And you have also both uh, heated seats and cooled seats. Not many vehicles have the option for both. Typically they have only for one. One last feature that you can see here from the rear 
is the fact that you can actually move the seat forward and back and tilt forward or back as well to give to give more space to the passenger here in the rear you have a little bit of extra stuff over here your middle armrest with your cup holders if yeah I use this you can see same switch for the window so that's the first and then if I touch it again it's a window now and then I do it again electronic sunshade the engine on this GV80 is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 pushing 391 horsepower sorry 391 pounds per foot of torque and 375 horsepower uh, it's a quite powerful engine and it pushes the you know a pretty heavy vehicle off the line quite yeah. quite well and this engine is actually shared across the uh, Genesis lineup with all their vehicles so I'm gonna give a quick overview of driving impressions of the GV80 coming from a Lexus RX 350 luxury package. Initially I thought it was a bit stiff compared to the luxury package on the LX on the RX 350 from Lexus. After driving it for six months, I found it to be extremely comfortable, especially given the fact that you have 22 inch wheels on this prestige package. And at the end of the day, all the different driving modes will actually change the suspension feel on the actual vehicle itself. So it's very quiet, serene, and, and pleasant to drive. It's definitely not a sporty drive, but it's more of a luxurious drive. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the review of this 2021 Genesis GV80 in Gold Coast Silver and Black Interior with the Prestige Package fully loaded. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and stay tuned till the next video and more reviews. Until next time, take care.